I'm Kelly Schaffner. Welcome to my channel. I have a thread up 50 pound women's mixed clothing bulk box rescue to share with you today. I'm really glad that you showed up to see what I got. This box came from Pennsylvania. The cost of this box is $120. I have no idea how many items are in this box. If you stick around to the end of the video, I will let you know how many items are in the box and give you a rough estimate of the number of items that I will be selling myself in my online stores. That's what I do. I am an online reseller of women's shoes and clothing and I take pre-loved clothing. Sometimes I refresh it and rehab it and I sell it for profit. That's how I make my living. This box is so big, guys, that's sitting beside me. I had to roll it and slide it. It's been sitting in my entryway for 10 days. Just being an eyesore, I did not want to open this box until I was ready to tackle it. The day has come, so let's see what ThreadUp sent me. So you saw what I saw off the top. It looks promising because it's not all dark. There's a lot of black clothing and thread up boxes. Black is just a really difficult color to photograph. This box was ordered on January 5th. It did take a little while to get to me. I live in New Mexico, so it did travel across the country. Okay, guys, fingers crossed, there are some good items in here. Okay, I'm okay. going to start with this sweater because it looks very interesting. It's very soft. It's an eyelash sweater with some metallic thread in it. It does have a keyhole in the back. Oh, um, yeah, this is Jennifer Lopez. And this is a brand I just don't sell. I'll take that one to donation. <laughs> I hope my donations pile stays small. Oh, this is Joie, which doesn't sell real well, but I do like this brand. This is probably 100% silk Joie, really pretty print. This is a button up. Can you see the buttons there? So yeah, I'll sell that. Uh, here, oh guys, this box is jam packed. I think this is a skirt. This is a skirt by Casper. This is a metallic skirt at that. And if you're not familiar, I've never sold this brand. I don't believe I've even tried to sell it. Casper, size six. Another sweater here, okay. Okay, this is a cowl neck sweater. This one looks like it's in pretty good condition. Be someone good. This is Fate. Is that a TJ Maxx brand? I've seen this in the thrift store. This is kind of cute though. Look at these big balloon sleeves. And this one appears to be in pretty good shape. So that's going in my look up pile. It looks like dress pants. The limited dress pants. Oh, these are little too. What size? I do, they're a size two. I expect to get a lot of smaller sizes in these boxes, which is not my favorite. I'm gonna go for the these dress pants. These are by Express. Oh, I like these though. These are Express and I they're a size two, but they are a paper bag waist. I am able to sell Express pants these are the ankle high rise in a two regular. The columnist and the editor, those dress pants perform pretty well for me. They don't move quickly, but they do sell because there are people that wear nothing but the columnist or the editor and the Portofino dress shirt. People like that for workwear. I will sell these editor pants. This looks like more dress pants. Banana Republic, size zero, khakis. Oh, I don't know if the, are these dress pants? They may, they feel like a dress pant and they do have this tie detail. I don't know about those. I'm putting those in the donate pile. More dress pants, red dress pants. Slim cropped by the gap. This is more like a chino pant in red. It looks like this. They're in good shape. Uh, here's some white denim. I didn't receive much denim in my 100 pounds. Oh, these are new ta tags. Crown and Ivy, which I believe Crown and Ivy is sold at Kohl's. Let me know if you know. These are a size 16. Crown and Ivy, white ankle pants with that little tie detail on the ankle. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sell these, or try to sell these, I should say. Here's something sparkly. 
be something good. It doesn't feel good. <laughs> this is Maurice's, and I don't see a size on it. This is a jumpsuit by Maurice's, and it's a wide leg jumpsuit. This looks like a larger size. I, I don't think it's plus size. It's probably a large or an extra large. I'll think about that. This one looks a little wash worn. Who are you? D and Co. Denim and Company, size medium. My mother will love that. That's going in a mama pile. A, a sweater. This is an extra small New York and Company loose weave navy blue sweater. Three quarter sleeves. Perfect workwear for an extra small woman. These look like men's. This is Nike Dry Fit, size large. Are those women's? They look like men's to me, but what do I know? I don't wear these type shorts, but size large Nike dry fit. I'll sell them either way. Ooh. Guys, guys, here's something leather, or it feels leather. Okay, it's a pair of leather pants or leather, le oh, these are frame, frame. Oh, they're teeny tiny, teeny tiny frame. What size are you? Oh, I don't see a size. Let me see. Size. No, no size on these. Okay. This is what they look like. These are in great shape. Very, very moto edgy looking with all of those detail. Oh my gosh. This is good. This is good. These need to get listed while the leather trend is still uh, going on. Okay, I'm happy, happy about that. That's going in my good pile. I have one thing in my good pile, which I mean great pile, like I am going to get it listed today. This is Ava, extra small. This is just a polyester, a really cute top. Would be a great shell to wear to the office. There's corduroy here. This is Banana Republic. It's a size 25. This is a mustard corduroy these are in really nice condition. I do not sell corduroy. I have just never taken a gamble on it. I know some people do really well with it. I am going to try to sell these, even though they're a size 025 because of the color. I know this is a trending color right now, so I will sell those. I think if this is a skirt. This is apartment nine, extra small little pencil skirt with some zipper detail. This feels really cheap. All right, something else in a mustard color. This is a really chunky, is that a cable knit sweater? Uh, looks like it's in decent shape and this is a size small by the brand Philosophy. This is kind of a I think of this as a boutique brand. This is sold at TJ Maxx and Burlington, places like that. I'll sell it though, I like that color. More paper bag pants, these feel cheap. They're, they're by Abound. Abound is a Nordstrom brand, Abound, and these are a size small. These may go to buy, sell, trade, simply because I don't like selling slacks and pants, and these are small. They're on trend and they are in good condition though. Something in red, which is my favorite color. Oh, this is uh, this is super wrinkled and it has a stain on it. Hopefully that will wash right out. I don't know if you can see it, but this is what it looks like. A polyester top, little ruffle detail around the neckline. There is some ruffles on the sleeve. It looks like a... A kind of a full sleeve with an elasticized cuff on it. I'm gonna have to look that up. I'm not familiar with it. This is another knit piece. It looks like a cardigan. This is a hooded cardigan. Oh, this is interesting. Look at those sleeves. And it has a drawstring on it as well. Who are you? Let's see. Who are you? I can't read it. If my eyes don't deceive me, guys, I think this is an Anna Sui. This is what the tag looks like. I'm going to put a picture of the tag right here. Anna Sui is a great brand. And let's see what the fabric is on this. This is made of acrylic, nylon, and mohair. Okay, so I like selling anything with mohair. 
This is just a fun cardigan, and this is going to be great to transition into spring. Are all the buttons there? Yeah, a little wear on the buttons. But, okay, yeah, this is nice. I'm putting that in my good pile. I think that's a good piece. I don't even know where to go next. Um, okay, I think this might be a dress. Allen, Allen Solly, size extra small. This is a sweater dress by a brand I am not familiar with. It looks like it's in pretty good condition, though. Looks like this. I will probably try to sell that based on its good condition. This is a thermal waffle knit top, size small, olive green, by the loft, three-quarter sleeve with a button detail on it. Okay, this is kind of a fun color here. It looks like a hoodie. Okay, we've got a little hoodie in uh, like an aqua color. Oh, oh good. Okay, this is Vineyard Vines and this is a size medium Vineyard Vines hoodie. And so far, guys, everything looks like it's in pretty good condition. When I put the items under bright lights to photograph, I normally find flaws, but so far, things are looking okay. This looks like a coat. We have a coat coming out of here. And who are you? Zero Paxson. Should have worn my glasses, but let's see. Zero exposure. I see this in the thrift store. I have never picked it up before. What size are you? A size small, zero exposure with a hood. The hood does snap off. Looks like this. Oh, it's got an interesting zipper pull. I don't know how much value this jacket will have. And I'm gonna look in the inside because I am curious if this is down. It, this is not down. This is a polyfill, polyester jacket with a faux fur trim on it. So I have no experience with that zero grand. I'm, I'm guessing it's not great. Let me know if you've sold it before. Uh, this is a dress. This is a dress by Calvin Klein. It looks small and I don't see a tag right off. The, oh, it looks really little, but it's pretty. This is a pretty dress. It's got a fun bell sleeve on it, an exposed zip in the back. Uh, okay, I'm going to sell that. I do like selling dresses. Tank top. Uh, tank top. <laughs> I don't think it's a great brand. It's Reebok. It's a size small. These are really tough to sell for me. The tank tops, the little lightweight tank tops. All right, polka dots. And this is Hillary Radley, size extra small. Is that? This is a dress. Hillary Radley, tell me that's something. This is just a little polyester dress with a cinched waist. Uh, I'm thinking office wear. It's a very, very sheer. I don't know about that one, but I do like selling dresses. Um, this is interesting. Okay, I need to be Valentini, New York. Rome, New York, and Paris, 100% rayon. It's not new with tags, but it does have this extra beading on it. And so I'm guessing this is really pretty. This is a very pretty piece. It's a size small. Looks like this. I, I'm not sure what to think. Let me show you the tag. Right here is the tag. Valentini? Valentai? Valentai? Let me know if you are familiar with this brand. I'm gonna set this aside. This is kind of delicate. All right, something in black. I expect to get some black. Ooh, this is LuLaRoe. LuLaRoe, what size are you? LuLaRoe size small. And this is just a rayon cropped button front collared top with a cap sleeve on it. Oh, this blue color is a nice uh, spring color. This is a lightweight knit. It is a loose weave also, cap sleeve. The brand is Cupio. That, I think, is a TJ Maxx brand. This is a size small. Okay, another white piece, which hopefully doesn't have any stains. Oh, this is Disney. This is a little white 
sweatshirt. What size are you? Size small. It feels like it was never washed or worn. What does that say? The Disney Kiss. That is embroidered. Oh, okay. So we've got Dumbo and what is that? 101 Dalmatians. I don't know all the Disney. I think that's Sleeping Beauty, Lady and the Tramp. Okay, let me get up close so you guys can see it. That's kind of cute. Do I see any stains or dirt? I don't think this one was worn. Sometimes I do okay with Disney. Like I said, I don't know a lot about Disney. I'm going to put that in my good pile. Fingers crossed that is a desirable piece. What was it? Wait, hold on. I want to check. This is, oh, this one came from the Disney catalog. I know if it comes from the Disney parks, that's more desirable. That's what I hear. But this one is from the Disney catalog. So fingers crossed that's a good piece. Here's another interesting print. I think this is a dress. This is express. It's a size small. Uh, I think this is a wrap dress. That's a true wrap dress, which wrap dresses do pretty well for me. They're so hard to share with you so that you can get the, you know, the full understanding of how beautiful it is. Look at that print. It's kind of a cute print. Fully lined wrap dress. This is a really soft like flannel uh, wow, I don't, I have no idea. Uh, do you have a tag? No tag? Oh, here it is. Boho chic. Okay, this is what it looks like. I think it's a cowl neck, really soft plaid tunic with that button detail. I believe the buttons go in the back. I think this is like an Amazon or Alibaba and blue stripes, another, you guys, it's Lularo. It's new with tags, Lularo. Uh, Lularo size large. I have sold this style of dress before. I'm gonna list this and hope to sell it for 10 or $12 because it is new with tags. Does it have pockets? I don't even remember what this is called. The curly dress, if you know, please save me a step and leave it in the comments. But yeah, I'm not excited. I'm not excited about getting LuLaRoe at all. Um, here is a blue animal print something. It's a blouse, I believe. And, oh, there's the tag. ASOS, size 38 US, size four. So this is a button. It, it's gonna be a high neck with a great big sleeve on it. You know, I don't mind selling ASOS. I think they have some really cute, trendy pieces, and that is a fun print. I will sell that. Here's some hearts, just in time for Valentine's Day. This is Lou and Gray, this is Loft, and this is a size small. These are really nice. This is just a kind of, it's not a jogger, it is not elast elasticized, but some charcoal gray sweatpants, lounge pants by Lou and Gray. Another sweater here. Um, this one feels nice though. This is H&M. H&M, <laughs> size small. It feels really nice. It's super thin, which I kind of like that lightweight sweater. I live in New Mexico, so these this is a nice weight sweater for my climate. Here is something fancy. Are you a skirt? What are you? What are you? I'm looking for tags. No tag? Is this homemade? Believe this might be homemade. No, it's not. Okay. What do I know? City triangles. Size four. This looks like an inexpensive brand. Uh, oh, okay, so it's lined on top. It does have, this is gonna be sheer right through here. It is a really pretty embroidered floral lace overlay. It's really small, and this looks like a junior's dress to me. Ooh, new tags, what, who is the tag? Forever 21. Oh, okay. Okay, this is a bodysuit, and it looks big. This is a 1X teal colored bodysuit. I wonder if it has the original MSRP. It does, I think. So it was $15 brand new if you bought it in store. I will still sell that. Um, I'll let you know exactly why I ordered this. At the end of the video, stick around. 
Chico's double zero black pants. These are nice and they feel like new. Do they have a zipper? Yeah, there's a zipper detail on the ankle. These may also go to my mother. <laughs> okay, a tank top. This is like a athletic wear. This is Maurice's in motion tank top. What size? Size extra small. Mm, I don't know. Maybe buy, sell, trade. We'll take that. Here is a plaid skirt with a little leather detail. The limited. This is size 10. Wow, I wish I had had this plaid to list last year. I didn't order the box last year. More polka dots. Uh, this, oh, Nike. Nike Obsessed. What size are you? This is an extra small. Uh, this is like a cotton tank. Probably buy, sell, trade, I'm guessing. Oh, I like this brand. Okay, this is cool. Cool size two. A pair of shorts. I'm happy about these. Kind of small, but this is a brand that does pretty well for me, so I'll get those listed. Uh, looks like some more joggers or maybe pajama pants. I'm looking at, because I do see a little bit of pilling in the crotch. These are by the brand Pink, and they're a size small. Oh, this, these are a jogger. They have a stripe down the side, and they are a jogger. Okay, another cotton. This one's Adidas. Um, little cropped workout. It's t-shirt. It's like a cotton t-shirt. What size are you? Oh, this one's extra large. Oh, and it has big, the big uh, like muscle uh, armholes in it. Uh, maybe buy, sell, trade on that one. Another pair of dress pants. Amanda and Chelsea. These are a size six. Amanda and Chelsea dress pants. I wish I had a buy sell trade store like I think uh, Style Encore kind of uh, takes the workwear and stuff like that and I don't have that in my area. Here's a tweed skirt. This is Ann Taylor. Uh, this is Ann Taylor Factory. It's a size 10 so it has that going for it. Uh, this is kind of cute. It looks almost like a little skater skirt or a circle skirt. I'll, I'll sell that because I like that size. Here's another plaid skirt. This is Louis Journal. Guys, I, I don't know. I You take a crack at it. Advance your soul. Okay, this might be something. Right there, you can see that. That's on the outer uh, so this feels like, um, uh, it's stretchy, but this feels like a tech skirt. It's got that. I'm going to have to let you know. Uh, I'll put something on the screen if this is anything. I am not familiar with this brand, Louis Garden. Uh, I can't, I can't even read it to be honest with you. Okay. I'm going to look that one up right away. Here is a sweater or a knit. I should, oh, this is good. Okay. This one is St. John's. This feels, I think this one might be vintage. Can you see it? Oh, sorry. My lights, guys. Can you see it right there? St. John's. It's a size medium. This is navy blue. It's, uh, it's kind of a longer line uh, jacket and no pockets. Uh, it's got some really cool buttons on it. Okay. This is what it looks like. Yeah, this one's going in my good pile. These sometimes take a little while to sell the St. John's, but I'm normally able to sell these jackets for $65 and above. So that is a great find. This is polyester. This is Sanctuary, size small, a little polyester boho popover with that lace detail. This is a peach color. It's, it's really pretty. I don't have a lot of luck selling this brand, but I'm going to give that one a crack. Here's another sweater. Uh, who are you? Alia. Alia, and this is a size medium. I have never tried to sell this brand. This one has a little button detail on it. You're looking at it. I don't know. I don't know about this. I think this is kind of a boutique brand, right? Am I right? Um, what is this? This is, it feels, 
this is Ming, M-N-G, M-N-G suit. So that is a little shell. It actually feels pretty nice. It feels like a crochet lace would be really pretty under a blazer or a cardigan. Great workwear. I like that. I like that one. Um, I just like the style of it. There's more polka dots, which we love our polka dots. It doesn't feel great. This is Abercrombie and Fitch. It's a size large. It is a popover. It is navy blue with white polka dots. It does have some tab sleeves on it. it it's a polyester, high low. Wow, I didn't even know that Abercrombie and Fitch made pieces like this. But I, I will probably try to sell that. Here's a stripe, don't be a button up, but I think it is a button up. Banana Republic button, button French shirt, size two. This is the tailored fit. Looks like that. And it does have that darting seeming detail on the back. So that's gonna be a great fit. Uh, somebody might be looking for that shirt. This one, I don't think. Oh, this is Lululemon. This is Lululemon? Uh, yeah, it's Lululemon. Look at this. It's like a polo. Is this Lululemon golf? Is that weird? That's a little weird, huh? I've never seen a Lululemon like this. Have you? Uh, what does it say here? Run, sweat, repeat. Okay. This one looks like a pretty nice size, too. I would say that's at least a medium, if not a large. I will look for the size later. It might not have a size. Sometimes the tops don't always have sizes. This one is Ann Taylor, size extra small. Look at those cute sleeves. It is a short sleeve top, work top. That's kind of cute. Uh, okay, let me get this one out. Who are you? Oh, Lululemon, yes, 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 okay. These Lululemon pieces sometimes can pay for the box. This is an interesting piece. Oh, it's a jacket, yay, it's a jacket, and I have no idea what jacket this is. If you know, please let me know. It looks like this. Let me check real quick and see if we can find the size. It's a great size, it's a size 10. This is awesome. Okay, I'm excited about this. It does have a vent, venting detail in the back, and it seems to be in pretty good shape. Does it have thumb holes? Yes, it's got thumb holes. It's got everything. It's Lululemon. That is awesome. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, I'm enjoying this box. I hope you're enjoying this box. If you are, please give me a thumbs up. That really helps my channel. This is Loft. It's peach. It is a short sleeve, open front cardigan sweater size extra small that's probably going to my mother this is a jacket an h&m jacket it's a size two. Oh, it has a tie detail so the waist tie is there this feels like a tweed i i don't really want to sell that i just that is really going to take a special buyer <laughs> this one mm. 7th Avenue Design Studio. So this is New York and Company, size 6, pink, lace, shorts. Uh, you know, I guess these are in good condition. I, maybe after a wash, I'm going to like these better than I like them right now, but I'm not real crazy about them. I think these are dress pants. And I, I don't really like <laughs> dress pants if you haven't uh, picked up on that. Okay, these are... Uh, the editor, I just talked about that. Express editor, and these are a size zero. Are they a zero? Yeah, a zero. Uh, I'm going to sell them. If they're in good enough condition, I'm going to sell them. More leggings, guys. And are you, uh, no, these are not Lulu. These are Fabletics. I received a lot of Fabletics leggings in my 100 pound. These, the, I don't know what these are, but they feel really nice. And I'm going to have to measure because the size tag has been ripped out of these, but they look like they're in pretty good shape. Okay, this is an interesting fabric. Okay, it's a skirt. Look at that. It, it's a satin, and it does have just this mauvey pink uh, print on it. 
a little velvet and lace trim. Who are you? This is Cynthia, Cynthia Steph. This is a size 10. I am not familiar with this brand. Tell me, she's a great designer. Tell me this is a designer that I am not familiar with. I do, I'm guessing this is polyester. I've been wrong before. Let me check. Let me check real quick. Do we have, no. No, there's no fabric tag that I, oh, there it is. No, no, this is rayon and nylon acetate lining. So I'm guess, I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna look that up. I wanna put that in my good pile because it's really unusual. <laughs> I'm guessing this is LuLaRoe. It, this has a really thick waistband. Can you see this waistband, elastic waistband? Are you LuLaRoe? No, this is BCBG Generation, size small, in this, uh, I don't even know what color green this is. It is a textured mini skirt. I, I might try to sell that to buy, sell, trade. Here is another sweater. Old Navy, extra small, striped sweater. This is cute. I we'll, we'll see. This one feels like uh, linen and okay it's a looks like it's a button front plaid shirt. I do like the colors. This would be a nice color for spring. Oh this is Beach Lunch Lounge. I haven't had a lot of luck with this brand. I do purchase it for myself. It's a size small. I wonder if this is uh this is cotton. Oh, it does have a little linen in it. Okay. No, it's linen and cotton. Sorry, guys. <laughs> My old eyes. Linen and cotton. That should help it to sell a little bit better. I would not have picked this one up, probably even at the bins, because that has been a tough sell for me. Oh, more new with tags. LuLaRoe. Oh, this one actually says who it is. This is the Cassie size large. This is a pencil skirt at least it's a southwest type of print on it next up is more like polyester pants calvin klein jeans these are a size eight they're gray they're a skinny stretchy they feel like a jegging almost um so they look like this i don't know about that one okay this is uh this one is I like this color. This I think is a plus size piece. That's kind of cute. It's almost like a hoodie. Looks like this. You see those pockets on it? Who are you? Oh, okay. This is good. Are you a 3X? I think this is. I'm sorry. This is a 3X soft surrounding. This feels like a sweatshirt. And okay, this is kind of interesting. It's got this. Um, interesting neckline that has three buttons and the buttons are kind of fun so uh, I hope I can photograph this one nicely because it's a pretty large piece that can present some challenges uh, this is on focus studio size 4 animal print polyester dress that looks like this kind of a small size here's a little red white and blue or yeah it's red white and blue navy top feels like a work top this is tommy hill figure this is a size small i like this top i wish it was my size i would definitely wear it it is a button front if you can see that right there tommy hill figure size small i'm gonna sell that it probably will take forever to sell but i like it so i'll sell it this is Beulah, Beulah style. Oh my gosh, what is the MSRP on this? $69.99. Um, okay, I thought this was something. Maybe not. Uh, what was it? A Is it one size? Beulah? Okay, I'm going to share it with you. Beulah. Just a black, long line sweater in brand new condition put that in my good pile it retailed for only seventy dollars i thought it was something maybe not this is uh, st streetwear society spelled kind of funny streetwear society this is a little rayon dress i think it's a dress it might be a top what size was it i don't i don't even like the way it feels it's a size small i'm going to try that at buy sell trade this is kind of a little rainbow top 
be something good. Who are you? Isaac Mizrahi for Target, size extra small, with tags. So it looks like this. And I haven't had too much luck with these Target designer collaborations. This is a cute piece, though. So you know I'm going to try to sell that. Did it have the MSRP on it? $30. Thank you so much for sticking with me. I'm going to try to cut out all of the dead space. This is the smallest skirt in the whole wide world. This is Ann Taylor. Double zero petite. Uh, that is going, it's a nice skirt in great condition. That is going to be a donation. Is this dinosaurs? We've got some dinosaur print. That's fun. This is Blue Rain dinosaur print, super lightweight tank with spaghetti straps. So I'll try that at the buy sell trade store. Are you new at tags? I like this new at tags. Alfred Dunner. New at tags. It does have an attached necklace. You don't even have to think about your accessories because they are right there. New at tags. This is Alfred Dunner size petite. Uh, it's PM. Is that petite medium? You know, my mom would probably like that. I don't know if she would like the attached necklace, but if she doesn't want that, I will sell it. This one's a pretty color. I do like the colors and prints that are coming in this box. This is a button front by the brand Anne Klein. I have sold Anne Klein just fine. I mean, it's not a uh, hot brand, but the size has been washed out of it. It looks like it's in pretty good condition. Probably needs an iron though. Oh, this is interesting. Who are you? J. Crew. These are size 12 J. Crew. They look like this. Okay. I, I don't know what these are. They feel like a denim and a tweed all together. Uh, let me see if it says. These are cotton, acrylic, polyester, and spandex. And these are from fall of 18. So they're not real old. They're a size 12. They have the seaming down the front, which I really like. It does tend to elongate the legs, seaming down the back, and patch pockets, if you can see that. There are some patch pockets in the front. I might try these on for myself. Here's a little sparkly piece. This is Villager, a Liz Claiborne company, size small. Another, I would say, work top. This one has some staining on it. it they would probably wash off, but I don't know. All right, this one feels like a little rayon top. It's a black floral. An off the shoulders, I think that is an off the shoulder top. It's kind of cute. Do you have a brand? You know what, I'm impressed. So far, there's been a lot of sizes in brands. I don't see a brand on this one. But for the most part, I have been receiving uh, brand tags on these, so no complaints. Okay, it's athletic wear. Are you Lulu? No, you're not. Are you Exertion? RBX, extra small, gray. Uh, gray leggings that look like this. These, I don't know about these, but they look like this. Oh, they smell like they just came out of the dryer, the washer. Okay, this is a Gap piece. I saw the tag. It's Gap new with tags and no price tag. Gap maternity. Okay, what size was this? Size medium, Gap maternity little black dress. Uh, yeah, that's cute enough. New with tags, I will sell it. We've got a chambray something or other here. This is loft. New with tags, chambray, size six dress. This is cute as can be. It's a button front, lightweight chambray dress with a flutter sleeve, little ruffle on it, and a ruffle bottom. I like that one. I will sell it. All right, this is a paisley print. And it looks like this. <sighs> Melissa Page, size small, Melissa Page. It's got that little tie detail on the side there. I, I don't think that's much. Another plaid piece, I think this is a button up. No, it's not a button up. This is J. Crew Mercantile, size two, plaid. It almost feels like felt, looks like this. I'm just gonna check and see if the date is in here on this piece. It is. 
So this was fall of 18. I'll list it. All right, this sweater feels nice. It's probably nothing. It's loft. Loft, it's a size small. It looks like this. I feel like it's dirty. Well, I'm gonna wash it either way, but it does have this bead work on the top right there. This is just a cream color. This is a stretchy acrylic sweater by Loft. This is weird. This sweater here feels like a sweater of mine um, that I probably sent to thread up. I know that would be weird, right? To get your own stuff back. This is Cyrus. And this brand, Cyrus, is sometimes included in subscription boxes. It may even be sold at Stitch Fix. But this is just an open front um, cardigan. And it is a size large. And I don't think I ever wore a cardigan that short. I like the longer line cardigans, but it does feel like something I have owned in the past. This is like a tech shirt and this is by Under Armour size extra large space dye v-neck I just took a little break the uh, Amazon packages just arrived and the dogs went nuts and okay this is a black skirt and this is Sandro sportswear Sandro sportswear and I don't so Sandro is a good brand but they're the Sandro New York or Sandro Paris, I, the one that I have never found before, but I have found Sandro. I don't think this is the good one, guys. And this is just a really simple black skirt. I will look it up because I'm not familiar with that brand, but I don't think that is much. Um, next up, another black, is this a black skirt? You could never have too many black skirts. Size four, Banana Republic. Black pencil skirt, like knee length pencil skirt. Okay, only two or three things. Um, this is big pink hoodie. Oh, this is weird. A pink hoodie with a pig on it. It looks like it's a pretty nice size. With a kangaroo pocket. And I'm trying to see. So it's got, so I don't know if it's. Okay, we'll look it over for flaws. Oh, this is Shane Dawson. Uh, Shane Dawson merch. This is a size large. Shane Dawson, he's a YouTuber. I don't know if I'll sell this, to be honest with you. I might see if Buy, Sell, Trade wants this. It's a nice size. Uh, it's got a pig on it, which doesn't surprise me. I, you guys, you know... Sometimes I just don't want to touch a channel, a designer, a creator in any way. And that's kind of how I feel about that Shane Dawson. You may feel differently, and uh, but yeah, I'm not real interested in even selling his merch. So that is going to be a hard pass for me. Is this a turtleneck? Turtleneck by Land's End, size extra small in a peach color. So that is a generously sized extra small and it feels like it's in good shape and I think my mother would enjoy that. This is it, we reached the end. This is the last piece. This feels like a tech piece to work out in. It's a space die with, oh, it says fly on the back of it. So I wonder if maybe this is for running O-I-S-E-L-L-E. O -I -S -E -L -L -E. This is a size large. And there's a lot of writing there that I cannot read. But uh, I think this one might be something. Okay, that was a lot. That was a lot. I can share the box with you now. This box is really beat up. Yeah, I have my work cut out for me. You might be wondering, why, Kelly? Why did you order 50 pounds of inventory? I decided to challenge myself in the month of February, simply because it's the shortest month of the year, to push it to the limit and see just how many listings I can get up in one month's time. Now, you notice I'm not telling you the number because I really haven't set a number yet. Please um, subscribe if you are interested in seeing this challenge. I do have a friend and a fellow YouTuber that is joining me on this challenge 
And if you are up for the challenge, I invite you to join me as well. If you want to make videos surrounding this topic, you can DM me on Instagram and I will connect your videos to our videos. That would be awesome. So I needed inventory, guys. I got some inventory. I will be going to the bins. I am going to have plenty of inventory to just break all of my records in February. That's the plan, okay? Can you tell I'm kind of talking it up right now? That is the plan. I have a positive attitude. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Oh, I promised you the numbers. Okay, right up here, I am going to uh, put how many pieces came in this box. And if I was able to sell every single piece, which I am not selling every single piece, it would bring the cost of goods to this. Follow me the month of February. You will get plenty of updates on all of the items that you saw today. Thank you again for joining me. Subscribe if you haven't done that yet, and I'll see you in the next one. Blessings.